ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Weston Racing. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at series one of the brand new Monster Jam Mini Duos. This was a very interesting reveal that Monster Jam made a while back that I thought was actually pretty cool, like, or Spin Master rather. I thought it was pretty cool. They revealed that they were going to do four Monster Jam trucks, 164 scale, and they were going to come with a bonus mini monster truck that was the same truck. Um, the only difference is, is that these ones, as you can see, the mini does not match the monster truck it comes with whatsoever. However, I still think it's pretty cool that they did this, and I'm honestly excited to see what Series 2 looks like when that comes out. Because as of right now, this is the only series of these. And this is probably my most up-to-date Spinmaster video I have ever made. Like, as it goes to, like, relevance of a case of trucks that I'm reviewing, this is probably the closest I've ever been to actually being up to date with a monster truck video. So this is really exciting here. These are, like I said, these are fairly new. Like these just came out a while ago. I literally got these, uh, I think like three weeks ago when my Walmart started stocking for Easter, these were in a dump bin and I managed to pick them up, which was really exciting because I didn't think they'd be out that early, but here we are. Anyway, Let's see here. I wanted to do a new thing where I want to start trying to shoot for a target time on a video so I can get better about, you know, making my videos shorter. So I think for this video, I'm going to shoot for, let's go 20 minutes. We'll go for a 20 minute video here today. So without further ado, let's get started. I do have something I want to talk about though, as we're looking at or opening the first truck though. So we'll get to that. And the first one we're going to look at, as you probably would have guessed, is... Grave Digger, everybody's favorite black and green wrecking machine. The, what would you say? Dennis Anderson was the the king of Monster Jam, I guess. What does he go by? He has a term, I don't know. Anyway, this is the first set we're gonna look at here. We're gonna look at the mini first, kind of like the car duos packs. We'll look at the non-164 scale monster truck item first, and then we'll look at the monster truck itself, which would be pretty cool. Technically, these are both monster trucks, which is pretty neat. But uh, I guess it could be argued that, in a way, it's like we're getting uh, a monster truck and a mini counterpart. Like, if you know what a mini monster truck looks like, what do they call those? What are the, There's a term for those, those monster trucks that are, like, really, really small. I forget what they call them, though. There's an entire sports league for them. Anyway, enough talk. Let's get into this. Now... The thing that I actually want to talk about, I don't know how to open these because this is my first one. We're going to open from the top, I think. Uh, the thing that I wanted to talk about with you guys is just recently we got some, we're getting some pretty cool, getting towards the world finals, right? We're getting some pretty cool stuff revealed to us. Like, for example, we got the track design revealed, which, you know, it's, it's an interesting track design. I will say that. Uh, it looks like a dirt bike track. It's really, really weird. Also, for those of you who don't know, this year's World Finals will be taking place in Inglewood, California. I could not think of a worse location to hold a World Championship Monster Truck event, but that's just me. So, that's an interesting insert. Um, that's my opinions on that. I really think Inglewood, California is a horrible place to hold the World Championship. SoFi Stadium is tiny. It is going to be so hard for those trucks to maneuver around in that stadium, but it'll be, it'll be interesting. That's all I'm going to say. The thing that I really want to talk about, though, is that they revealed the stunt for the World Finals. And it is actually going to be really cool. The stunt itself, what's going to be done, has not been revealed. However, they revealed the truck that's doing the stunt. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't have the truck on me. If I did, I'd show it off. But the ever-famous, created in 2019, Spin Master Monster Jam Custom Monster Truck, the four-ton unicorn Sparkle Smash is going to become a real truck. And they showed it off in this trailer for the stunt. I am so excited. It's not even funny. I cannot wait. Here's the Grave Digger card insert. Here is the mini Grave Digger. So let's start it off, shall we? Oh my god, it's been so long since I've revealed or reviewed a mini. I need to I got three mini series that I need to unbox and review. We'll get to it eventually. But anyway, so we've got a black body, a gray chassis, that is cold, a gray, almost like a silver chassis setup with green tires. Pretty cool. On the side panel, you got Gravedigger USHRA logo, the ghost mountain with the haunted house, all the detail. It's Gravedigger. We all know what Gravedigger looks like. On this side, it's the exact same thing, but mirrored. On the front, we don't have headlights or anything, but on the hood, we've got the flame wrapping. 
and we've got the uh, stripe there on the hood, really cool. And then on the top, we got Gravedigger, bad to the bone written right there with the grim skull and the flames, nothing on the back. And uh, yeah, there you go, that is the Gravedigger Mini. I love the, I gotta say, I think Monster Jam Minis, like don't get me wrong, the Hot Wheels Minis were, you know, cool, but they weren't that great because they didn't look that good. The chassis were massive compared to the bodies, it just didn't work. I think Spin Master's Mini Series is awesome. I absolutely love the Minis, and they are just so cute. But speaking of Mini, let's go to the opposite of that and take a look at the 164 scale Gravedigger that actually comes with it. Now, as you'll notice, what they tried to do, well, not very well, they didn't really succeed with it, but it, what you'll notice is that some of the trucks, the Minis and the Monster Truck themselves, they tried to make them look like copies, but they didn't really succeed. So for example, on this one, we've got a black body. As you can see, they did the silver roll cage, but we got a black chassis, black tires and green rims. The, if they, I really wish what they would have done is they would have made the minis match the truck themselves, but I get that that can be hard to do and I understand. But here we go. Looking at the side panel, we got Gravedigger with the Ghost Mountain, as we've all seen. Pretty much all the same detail as the Mini, just, you know, a lot bigger and blown up so you can see it better, which is pretty cool. The graphics look a little fuzzy and pale on this Gravedigger. I don't know if that's just me or if you guys are seeing that too, but the, the graphics look very pale and fuzzy. I don't know what that's all about. On the front, you've got the green uh, front end with the red headlights that we all know and love. Up on the hood, you got the black flames around the headlights themselves, green flames going up through all the crevices with the gray stripe right there. On the roof, we have the famous Gravedigger roof with grim, bad to the bone, Gravedigger and the flames right there. It looks really, really good. I love that roof wrap. Looks amazing. And that right there is the Gravedigger uh, Monster Truck 164 scale. I'm gonna, uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna, refer to the 164 scale trucks as the monster trucks and i'll refer to the other ones as the minis okay so if at any point in the video i say that was the gravedigger monster truck i'm referring to the 164 scale truck not the mini okay moving forward that that's just keep that in mind moving forward all right next up we have el toro loco now i'm gonna say right now this is probably my favorite set we're gonna look at in the video el toro loco the famous bull monster truck came out originally in 2004 Still have yet to get an accurate version of the 2004 uh, El Toro Loco Spin Master. Um, but here we have the Monster Truck and Mini Duo. And because of the way my lighting is set up in my studio, you cannot see the Mini very well. So to help with that, I'm just going to open this. So here we go. I'm still stuck on the whole Sparkle Smash thing. That is going to be, I am actually like genuinely excited for that. That is going to be so cool. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> You know, a lot of YouTubers, like, cut out the actual unboxing itself because of how long it takes and how it's boring. But I kind of tend to leave it in because usually if I cut my finger on the plastic or something and I start whining, that can be considered funny to some people. So, you know, there's a bit of comedic value there. I don't know. Now, what you're going to notice about this Mini is that they really, the really the only thing they actually got uh, between this Mini and the truck that go, comes with it is the fact that the chassis is silver. But you're going to notice that the Mini has another detail on it that is actually really, really interesting. And we'll zoom in to show that off. So here you go. Here is the El Toro Loco Mini. We have an orange body, a silver chassis, and brown tires. So we got these muddy uh, brown, dark brown tires here, which is really... We got these muddy dark brown tires here, which is really interesting. It's very, uh, very interesting that they chose to do muddy tires on this. I wish what they would have done is that they were going to do muddy tires on this. It would have been really cool to have mud treads on this actual truck. I think that would have been really sweet. Just something, you know, but I get why they wouldn't do that because the mud treads tend to be only for the uh, monster dirt mine. So it's whatever. I'm, I'm not complaining. That I'm not going to complain about. I refuse to complain about that. That's just dumb. Um, anyway, uh, we got El Toro Loco with the flames and the teeth there. What I think is interesting about the minis is that it only has the top row of teeth on this truck and it only has a few teeth, you know, and you'll see what I mean when we compare this to the other truck. Also, the uh, horns do not have the orange tipping on the front of it. And well, much like the discount trucks, there's no detail across the top, but that's okay. I still like this mini. I think it's really nice. I think it's a really nice little mini monster truck. Now for the big boy, here is the monster truck itself. And as you can see what I'm talking about here, we got more teeth on the El Toro Loco, however, and then there's also the bottom uh, two teeth right there, which are not on the mini as well. I thought I'd point that out just because why not? You know, it's a, it's a little, little something. 
We got an orange body, a silver roll cage, white chassis, yellow chassis, pardon me, black tires with yellow rims. Look at that. Pretty cool stuff there. Monster Jam logo, Flames, El Toro Loco. Pretty sweet there. Oh, let's fix that. There we go. And look at that detail there. That is nice. I like the way that that looks. Very cool. On the front of the truck, we've got the chin hair. I don't know what what that banter was about right there. You know, I've seen thousands of El Toro Locos at this point. I don't know why I said any of that, but you know, whatever. On the hood, oh, this is actually a difference between the truck and the Mini. If you look at the, never mind, I'm stupid. <laughs> I, I thought the Mini had uh, ridges on the nose for some reason. It in fact does not. I uh, guess I made that up in my head. We've got the nose ring here, the nostrils and the flames coming out. Looks really cool. You got the orange tipped horns, as I pointed out earlier. Nothing on the uh, negative space bar there, I guess is what you would call that. I don't know why. Uh, the tail lights are weirdly brown in color, which I think is kind of strange. And then you got the flames on the tailgate, El Toro logo, monstjam.com written right there. And uh, yeah, there you go. That is the El Toro logo right there. Pretty cool. Alrighty, let's get through the next set. We got two more sets to go. And uh, you've seen one of these two sets, but the other one you haven't yet. And ironically, that's gonna be the next one. So this one's kind of a big surprise if you didn't pay too close attention to the thumbnail, you don't know anything about these trucks and you haven't looked in the description, this next truck is gonna be a complete and total surprise to you. It is Megalodon. Now, as I always say with Megalodon, I always f I feel like this truck is a bit deceiving because they call it Megalodon and I get why it's supposed to be a giant shark, but Megalodon has always seemed more like a great white shark to me. I don't know. I've never really thought Megalodon looked like a Megalodon, but that's just me. And I think it's the shape of the body. I feel like Megalodons would look a lot scarier. I don't know. I don't know. And I get, you know, it's, it's Monster Jam is a kid's sport anymore, but well, would you look at that? I've never had that happen before. That was really convenient. To be fair, I've only opened two of these ever, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. I kind of like the chassis color on that Megalodon. It looks, it's probably the same color as the body color. I like that. That is neat. All right, here is the nameplate for the Megalodon. We're get, we got six minutes left to do these two sets here so I can stay within my 20-minute video parameter that I set for myself. So let's, we're going to speed run this. All right, here we have the Megalodon. We've got the... Uh, we got the shark skin, like a uh, grayish blue body. We've got this really interesting, almost like a navy purple chassis. And then we got the baby blue tires to look like water, which is pretty cool. You got the Megalodon logo there with the white belly. You can see the gills. You got the gums with the teeth and the eye. This side is exactly the same, but mirrored. And yeah, that's pretty much the entirety of the mini there. There's not a whole lot to see. Just it's the different chassis colors and the different wheel colors that really make that one stand out. Now for its older cousin here, the Megalodon, there's, like I said, there's the chassis color is really neat on here. It looks like it's they were going for the same color as the body, and I think that is really cool that they did that. It might be the same color as the little plastic fin, actually. I don't know. Nah, it's slightly, maybe, I don't know, I can't tell. Anyway, we've got the same color body as before, black roll cage, the uh, matching color chassis, black tires with dark or with light gray rims. I am having a stroke. I don't know what's going on here. The side panel has the Megalodon logo with the Monster Jam logo. You got the white underbelly here with the teeth and the gums with the eye. Got the little plastic fin on the side. This side is exactly the same, but mirrored. Going up across the top of the truck, you can see all of the different uh, paint detail, all the different like shading and whatnot across there. And that is pretty much the entirety of the Megalodon. It's a pretty basic truck, all things said about it. So there you go. All right, here we go. Now on to the next set here. This is easily the most infuriating thing that I think Spin Master has ever done. Next up, we have Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Now, Monster Mutt Dalmatian, I could swear on. Spin Master absolutely hates this truck. They refuse to make a realistic version, a good realistic version of the modern Monster Mutt Dalmatian anymore. It's all just crappy, like... All these like crappy roll cage and tire combinations, it's gross. It, I really wish they'd make a normal looking one. The ears, Monster Medalmation is the only truck that doesn't have its ears down anymore. Like it is just, it's a mess. Now, here's the thing that upsets me about this set. Both the 164 scale truck 
and the Mini have been produced previously to this set. Neither of these trucks are new. Do you realize how infuriating that is? Spin Master was so good about that. For four years straight, they didn't reproduce a single truck. And then they drop this bomb out of nowhere. And it's like, really? You guys were doing so good. Now you've got two re-releases in the same set. Like, that is wild. And literally, usually, like, when they re-release a truck, take, like, Rainbow Blast, for example, the second version of that truck looked exactly like the first one, but the roll cage color was changed slightly from black to a really dark purple, so you could barely make out the difference. Like, little changes like that are nice, because then they're variants, but now Spin Master's taking a page out of Hot Wheels book, and they're just re-releasing the same trucks. Which is no fun. Like, you know, why why would you do that? That is just annoying for collectors. You know, we're out here trying to collect every single version of the trucks and trying to collect every single set and everything, and you're just re-releasing the same products. Like, that's annoying. Don't do that. That's really, really not nice. Even mo take Monster Machines, for example. As much as I hate Monster Machines, I'll give them a thumbs up and say when they re-release a truck, they usually change, like, the package design or a small detail on the truck. Literally, I don't think Monster Machines has a single in-package truck. I say in-package specifically here. I don't think a single one of Monster Machines trucks across all seven series of trucks that they've released, I don't think there's a single duplicate. I think they are, for surprisingly, there is not a single duplicate uh, package and truck-wise, if you put both of those together. If you just look at the trucks themselves, there's like a Dirt Crew duplicate, I'm pretty sure. But yeah. That's really interesting, right? Okay, we got. I got. <laughs> I got like a minute and a half here. I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna hit the 20 minute mark. Oh no, I'm bleeding. I cut myself on the package. Oh no, kids, don't look. <laughs> oh, I'll just. It's it's ketchup. Maybe. You don't. All right. <laughs> here we go. We have the Monster Mutt Dalmatian Mini here. Pretty cool uh, color for like the chassis and the roll cage. Red's my favorite color. You know, as, as obnoxious as this looks, I still like it just because of the red on there. Um, speaking of red, anyway, I'm just going to like, wow, guys, look at this Monster Mutt Dalmatian here. So we have got, of course, the signature white body. We got a red chassis set up with red tires. Looks really, really cool. Side panel has the Monster Mutt in red there with the black dots everywhere. You got the mouth and the ear, the eyebrow. Flip it over to this side. It's the exact same thing, but mirrored. Pretty cool. Uh, you can see the blue diamonds on the collar there, which is really cool. I find it weird. Never mind. I don't find that weird. I lied. On the front, we got the tongue with the whiskers and the nose. Pretty cool. The eyebrows right there. And then on the back, you've got the dog tag, which says Monster Mutt Dalmatian with the tongue right there. So there you go, everybody. That is the Monster Mutt Dalmatian right there. Well, the mini anyways. Now we got to look at the actual big truck here. So here we go. This is the Monster Mutt Dalmatian 164 scale truck here. And again, the big problem that I have with it is, of course, the ears. I really don't like the ears. I like I, They really should put those down and make it look like a normal resting monster truck, but they won't do that for some reason, and it's really annoying. We've got a white body, white roll cage, uh, black chassis, black tires with red rims. Looks pretty cool. Side pan, I got the monster mutt there in red, Monster GM logo. Red collar with the blue diamonds. You got the teeth, the gums with the mouth, the fur detailing, which looks really cool. That was with the mini was missing was the fur detailing that's why it looks so weird to me i was like man this looks strange it's because it was missing the fur detailing got all the spots on this side it's the exact same thing but mirrored on the front you got the tongue with the whiskers and the nose eyebrows there pretty cool and then you got the ears up top and then on the back you got monster mutt dalmatian right there with the collar and then the tail pretty cool stuff right there and that is the final monster truck for today's video Let's uh, do the turntables and we'll close out the video.
Well, there you go, everybody. That is the full uh, group of four sets right there. Pretty cool. Gravedigger, El Toro Loco, Megalodon, and Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Pretty cool to, uh, like I said, I think this is a pretty cool series and I have high hopes for what's to come in the future. You know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of minis that they could definitely adapt into the 164 line and do these duos with. I'm hoping for some independent stuff in the future, you know. And then of course, you know, you got other Monster Jam trucks that we've gotten minis of, you know, Pirate's Curse, uh, Soldier Fortune, Soldier Fortune, Black Ops, Max D. Max D's number one priority. Max D should 100% be in the next set. Um, and then there's some other ones that I think would be really cool, like Bulldozer. Bulldozer would be a really cool one for this, to get the 164 scale truck and the Mini. That would actually be really interesting. The Desert Force Soldier Fortune would actually be a really cool one for this. I, I don't know if they'd do it, though. And then if they do some of, like, the weird, obscure Minis and then do matching 164 scale trucks, like uh, the Lavender Gravedigger. They did a grave digger, but instead of black, it was lavender colored as the base coat. I would actually love to get a 164 scale version of that truck. I think it'd be cool. Um, did they do alien invasion in mini form? I can't remember. Um, there's some other ones in there that I think would be pretty cool, like chrome, chrome dragonoid. That would be a cool one to get a 164 scale version of. Actually, Spin Master, Chase Piece idea for 2025, chrome trucks. You know, and I'm not talking like the chrome grave digger we got where it's like, you know, normal chrome. No, colored chrome trucks. I'm talking orange chrome. Uh, what? Uh, Hot Wheels had a series. It was the Chroma Frost series. It's that, but with actual chrome. I'm talking orange chrome El Toro Loco. Uh, Black Chrome Gravedigger would be, they'd, they'd obviously do a Gravedigger, but I hope they wouldn't do Black Chrome Gravedigger. I think that would be boring. They should do uh, the Green 30th Anniversary Gravedigger. That would be a good one to get. Uh, blue Chrome Megalodon. I don't know if White Chrome is a thing. I'd love to see what White Chrome looked like, but a White Chrome Dalmatian would actually probably look pretty neat, maybe. I don't like, again, I don't know if White Chrome is an actual thing. Normal Chrome Max D, I could let that one slide just because we, you know, we should have gotten that by now. But for some reason, once again, I think Spin Master really, really is underhanding Max D these last couple of years. I feel like Max D deserves way better treatment than what it's getting, but I don't know. Anyway, there's my pitch for you, Spin Master 2025 Chase Piece Series Colored Chrome Trucks. That would be awesome. But anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next Diecast unboxing video. Thank you, and good night.